Morning, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Travis C.D. Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's face shave and a product profiling. Before we get into that, let's get into the holiday of the day. Today's holiday of the day is National Welderly Day. I know it almost sounds like it's something to do with the elderly, but it's not particularly. It was a holiday that was kind of pushed and developed by Dr. Dale Anderson uh, to promote the benefits of, the health benefits of happiness, humor, and laughter. Kind of goes along with that saying the healing power of laughter doesn't it so anyway happy uh national welderly day so if you have a chance to tell a story play a joke do something make somebody laugh especially nowadays with all the stuff that's going on all the stress all the craziness i think everybody could use a little bit of laughter in their day i know i certainly can all right now let's get into the soap itself this is deuces wild by through the fire fine craft we're continuing our line here with through the fire she's got a lot of great soaps uh that are already on there but some great ones coming out this one just came out today uh again deuces wild by through the fire fine uh, craft it is a towel based uh shave soap that well it's a different kind of scent it's based on uh, well you'll see in a little bit but it's based on trying to throw a an honoring to uh the gangster style type of of uh, times back in the day when criminals were actually famous. So, uh, all right, so here's the soap right there. As you can see, it's a kind of a brownish tint to it. The smell, as far as I'm concerned, is about a five or a six. It's not overly, overly strong, but it's got a sweet, smooth scent to it. It's, it's cooling, but not cooling in the scent in the way that uh, menthol is. It's cooling and just, it's just a cool scent. And it's got just a very, very, very slight undertone of pepper, like a peppered undertone, in my opinion. It's not spicy by any means. It just kind of has a little, just a back, back, back hint of pepper, in my opinion. That that might be from the gunpowder that's in this. But anyway, so the, uh, the consistency itself is uh, pretty soft, as you can see. I can push my finger right into it. This is not a hard soap by any means. Having said that, we'll throw a little bit of water on it just to kind of wet it up a little bit. I've started to get away from uh, blue, uh, soaking my soaps, only the ones that are really, really hard. Uh, you know, just, I didn't really get into like, I used to put a whole bunch of water on top of these. Now I just kind of basically get it to just where it's a little bit, uh, water, a little bit of water on it just to kind of loosen a couple things up. But I don't really get into any... Uh, I've been trying to get away from the, the soaking too much to see if maybe it's something that I've just been doing that's just not necessary, unless it's like a triple milled soap or something to that effect. Now, let's go on with the rest of the gear. We also have the matching aftershave right here, Deuces Wild, in the typical glass flask, and we'll go into the scent profile or the scent strength and so on and so forth, the post shave with that. Speaking of the post shave, we also have our Thayer's Witch Hazel in the Jack Daniels bottle ready for that but none of this is going to do any us any good without a brush we have the mar red marble the uh 26 millimeter synthetic knot brush that we're going to do the soap with and just keeping it simple red imp um not my favorite name for a for a razor but there it is it is a wedge razor uh right there or near wedge actually i think it's a full wedge anyway this is what we're shaving with today. This is all stropped, definitely, definitely recently honed. We're gonna wet our brush. We're gonna load the brush with the soap. While we're doing that, take a look at this. The 1932 Ford V8 Flathead Coupe. Described by Maria Armand of Through the Fire Fine Craft as American Graffiti Style, a little badass. Also a favorite vehicle of the Great Depression era's gangsters and G-Men. This collaborative effort between a military veteran, wet shaver, and she produced a scent profile that is reminiscent of a time when some of New York City's most notorious criminals were like movie stars. With notes of gunpowder, hops nine, blued steel, and blood orange, you end up with a smooth, cool scent accented by a very light, peppery undertone. Staying with the theme, the name Deuces Wild is a homage to a pastime very much enjoyed by the city's most wanted. This offering has the soap coming in a five ounce plastic container and the aftershave in a four ounce glass flask, both brandishing screw top caps and waterproof labels. Each are available for $15.95 at ttffcraft.com. 
Just another unique scent with a vintage but timeless theme put out by the company's owner. And as said by Al Capone, I am just a businessman giving the people what they want. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. As you can see, there's the soap right there. I'm just going to scoop out whatever lather is left in the bowl. There we are with that. Set that aside. Brush is all loaded. A little foamy on the top, but that's just because we haven't really lathered it yet. This is just strictly loaded. So we're going to go ahead and throw this on the face. Actually, let's throw some water on the face. I always put water on my face before I do anything else or my head, depending on what I'm shaving. I got about three, maybe four days growth. I think it's three though. All right, throw this stuff on here just to kind of get it going. Works kind of like a pre-shave, I guess. All right. Throw a couple of drops of water on it. Just a few. Let's get this lather going and get this shave happen. We'll see you guys in the post shave.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I just threw some cold water on my face as part of my post-shave routine. I don't usually put that on camera. I don't even think I mentioned it, but that's kind of... I kind of thought it just went without saying, but I guess not everybody does that. So, uh, yep, I did a cold water splash on my face. I always do that. It kind of just pulls everything together, similar to the way the aftershave does. So, let's throw a little bit of witch hazel on... That part of the shave, post shave is done. So the shave, as far as I'm concerned, went very, very well as usual. The performance was fantastic. The uh, scent profile on it remained strong throughout the shave. I did detect more of the gunpowder as the shave went on. I noticed after the second and third pass, the gunpowder notes started to come out a little bit. Not that it reminded me of shooting a firearm by any means, but it did, you know, I got that note a little bit more. Uh, so uh, the scent strength, as I said, stayed the same. Uh, I didn't. I I really like this scent actually. It's not uh, it's not overly strong. It's some of her other scents are a little bit more strong on this, but you know, aftershave is what it, you know usually where the real strength comes into play. And uh, having said that, again, this is not a cologne, so it's not meant to be a cologne. So it's not meant to last forever. Um, having said that, I usually like a scent to only last about three or four hours myself anyway. So. All right, here we go with the aftershave. Now it's interesting because it's right off, right out of the bottle, I get almost a sweet scent. It's been kind of the theme with my shaving soaps lately. All right, well, here we go. We're gonna go with a, quite a bit. Yep, a little bit of sting. Oh wow. Yeah, I get that. There's that blued steel scent. You know, I, when I first read that, I thought blue steel, how do you how do you get the smell of a gun? It's one of those things you just have to try it. You do, you, it smells just like the barrel of a firearm. I don't know how many people out there have actually smelled the barrel of a firearm, but if you've ever cleaned one before and you you know you you got the gun oil on it, you're running the the the, the brush through to clean the barrel out and you get there's that that scent wow that's nice it's different i like it though i like that it, it, it's a little bit different than my my run-of-the-mill uh cologne scents i tend to be a cologne scent type of person i've got a ton of them by all kinds of dupes and I, I i do love cologne based scents this is this is a this is a different take on it i mean it's definitely nice i would totally wear this on a regular basis but it's not like a cologne by any means, and it's not meant to be. I really like this a lot. Um, I definitely can see myself wearing this. This isn't something I probably would wear in the middle of summer, but uh, I'd say that, that small section between spring and winter, where winter's kind of dying out, and it's still, you're still getting those kind of cool sunny days, and in the fall, this would be a great fall scent. But I do, uh, as of right now, at this time of the year, it's perfect for that. Yeah, I definitely, I got a couple things I got to do today where I'm going to be venturing outside and this will be perfect for that. Uh, and it'll just make me feel like I had a great shave. just going to add to the experience. Scent always does that for me. And this I definitely will go along with. It's not so strong that you're going to go outside and it's all you're going to smell. It's just going to give you kind of that once in a while whiff and you're going to say, oh yeah, you know, that shave was awesome. At least that's what I like for me. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the shave. Thank you very much for joining me. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe and you haven't subscribed please do so make sure you knock that bell that way you get a notification every time we do a new video here at cd shaven folks if you shave today have a great shave have a great rest of the day and we'll see you guys and girls 